Alright, what is up, people? I apologize for the blurriness. Um, it is Shakes here, and I'm here to review the SHV Words, uh, Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger Gokai Silver, um, figure, uh, from the show Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger. Also known as Super Mega Force here in the US, and this is Super Mega Force Silver. But since these figures haven't been released in the US, I don't know if they're going to, or if it's just like, not even a thought. Um, they haven't been released here yet. We will call him Gokai Silver. Ikari Guy. Or Orion, if you're more of a Super Mega Force fan. Um, actually, Orion's not too bad of a ranger. His actor, uh, Cameron Jebo, is not too bad of an actor either. I believe he's more of a union actor than the other ones. Um, and he was actually a lot. He was actually. He actually originally auditioned to be. Uh, for the part of Troy in Mega Force and Super Mega Force, he didn't get the job, but they did bring him a bring him on as Orion. Personally, I think they should have gone with him as Troy. He doesn't. I don't think he needs too much direction to um, be able to show an emotion without it being like an intense burning anger, or at least to look like that. Um. So yeah. Um, now let's, uh, let's get to the figure. Before I review the figure itself, I'll go over his accessories. Um, he has two, uh, fist hands that... Uh, I'll get that in a minute after I do this review. Uh, so yeah, two fist hands, uh, that are already on him in the packaging. Two of these, uh, posing hands that, uh, give the piece symbol, uh, blaster holding hands, or, uh, whatever his gun weapon is, um, a couple holding hands, one for, uh, his ranger key and his gokai cellular, um, okay, um, gripping hands for the, uh, spear, or trident, as it should be called. Um, pointing hands for poses. Um, and yeah, so I think that's all the hands he has. Um, so yeah, uh, little accessories that he comes with is a mini Gokai silver key. I think that the helmet on this was painted wrong. Because it's still the mold for the mini uh, Gokaiger, um, or main five Gokaiger Ranger keys um, that they use for the other five Gokaiger figures. Because they, they they painted his visor the wrong color, and they didn't paint the top of its head um, black like um, Gokai Silver's uh, real helmet. Um, so about a mist paint opportunity right there, and we get a mini Gokai Cellular, it does not open, um, because I believe it's one piece, and it is fairly well detailed, if you've seen it in a, either Gokai or Super Mega Force, um, and when compared to the toy, I've seen videos on the toy, I don't have the Gokai Cellular toy yet, and I need to get it, because I want to have it for a Gokai display I will show off. When I have all five figures. Um, so yeah, I need his ranger key. Um, and the numbers aren't detailed. But that's understandable. It makes sense because the, no the, no the buttons for the numbers are too small. To have all the faces of the past six rangers on them. Um, so yeah, that would, that, would that would require a lot of man power and man hours. So yeah, and here we have his Gokai um, Trident Spear in its blaster or gun mode, um, which is really cool. Unfortunately, we don't get a folded up version of his Ranger Key um, to put in here or in his regular um, Spear in Trident mode, um, which would be cool, but it's kind of understandable why they didn't do it, but again, it's kind of... Um, it's also a missed opportunity, because they did it with the rest of the Gokaijers, and I doubt it wouldn't have taken as much, um, 
or that much more plastic. So yeah, <laughs> and I completely forgot to do the box first, like I usually do. Um, okay, so here's his uh, silver, his box for Gokai Silver, Kaisoka Sentai Gokai Jur, Gokai Silver, and a description of the SH Figuarts line. Gokai Silver right there, a good picture of the um, figure. On the side, you get more info and stuff. On the other side, you get a cool picture of him with this um, open map display, which is awesome because it's a, it's a pirate series. So it's actually really good that they have that kind of detail in here. Kaiser Sentai Go Kaiser, and more the same information on the figure arts line is on the front, I believe. Uh, some three good pictures of him posing with in the various poses that he does. This is after the roll call. This is in. This is the pose I have him in. I don't know if it's completely right. I'll probably adjust it after the video is done. Um, and then him holding his blaster, the trident, the uh, or trident spear, and the Gokai spear in, um, in gun mode, and then his mini mobile rate. Okay. Um, then a bunch of stuff in Japanese. Um, Alright, so yeah. Now let's take a look at the figure himself. Here is Gokai Silver. He has a nice sheen to him in his paint uh, for the silver. I mean, just look at him. You can see the light shining off of him, even with the blurriness of this camera. His outfit is just as shiny as his helmet. And his helmet is very glossy where the black is. Um, it's not all shiny, only the top half is. And the visor, I believe. But the visor and the lower half of his helmet are the same colors as the gold and um, silver on his outfit. Which are just freaking amazing um, in terms of the paint. And his, his Gokai buckle is still just the generic like, um, brownish yellow or yellowish brown. But it's okay. So yeah, and, uh, his legs. So yeah, and let's inspect the Gokai Spear. Although it should have been called the Trident. They didn't fix that in Mega Force. they still call it a Spear. Um, so yeah, uh, not too much in terms of differentiating, uh, or in different, um, amount of detail, like the Gokai, um, sabers and guns have had. It has, it's actually really good, though the blandness of the actual prop um, did leave the, have this leaves have this be something for design, leave it um, something to be desired. It does not come with the spear mode or the or the anchor mode because he would require he would require the gold armor for that, and then he would require another head um, because when he's in gold mode, his uh, the top of his helmet shifts down into his visor. Um, so, yeah. Um, but it's still a good uh, prop weapon for the for the figure. Let's take a look at the figure himself. Ikari Gai. Um, Gokai Silva. Um, yeah, that's how they pronounce it in Japan. Um, again, a nice amount of sheen to his... Um, to the paint used for the silver and gold. Again, well, all the Gokaiger figure arts actually have really good gold, but seriously, his silver just brings out a really good sheen. Um, so yeah, his helmet is pretty glossy. I know you can't see it because of the stupid blurriness of the camera I'm using. I apologize when I get my replacement iPod. I will do a reversion of this video, but until then, you're going to have to deal with this. I am. I apologize again. Uh, so yeah, um, again, he, um, he just has a really good sheen. I like his helmet, too. I like, um, Ikari Guy's helmet, or Gokai Silver's helmet, because it's more of a, uh, bandit kind of look. It's like, I guess Zoro from One Piece would be a good, um, reference point, because it looks like he has a bandana on the top half of his head, which is nice. And then, uh, the helmet naturally has the... It is in the shape of an anchor, which is nice. And then he just has a gold visor to, diff to again, differentiate it. Um, so, yeah. I kind of wish that they uh, released a 
um, version of the Gokai Silver and Red Hybrid from the DVD special. Because that would be awesome. Alright, so... Let's just... Let's just get him in a generic pose with his trident. Um... So, yeah. And I brought down my... Or I brought my... Um... S.H. Figure Arts uh, Red and Blue Gokai figures. Or Gokai Jer. S.H. Figure Arts to compare in terms of size and everything. And if I could just get him to stay... I think I just need to pose him without the trident. Um... In order to get this to work. Okay. Okay, so it's just gonna stay there. Um, here is Gokai Red. As you saw in the back. Round. Again, same pretty much in terms of height, except he actually looks like a couple inches taller. Um, it's, I think it's the figure. He, he looks a couple inches taller when it's in actual scale. But actually, I think he, yeah, he is a couple centimeters taller in terms of the figures, I believe. Maybe it's just one or two, but still. Um, so yeah, but same amount of detail, same, same like gold and paint apps, and the black is pretty much the same because of the figures, or the, um, Gokaiger's suits. Same basic design on everything but the helmet. Um, so, yeah, and the, uh, the coat. Uh, collar, which has been turned out on Gokai Red, but on Gokai Silver, it is pretty much just regular. Um, so yeah, let's get him back in that first pose I had him in, if I can. Alright. Alright, I think this is the best I can do for now. Because he's pretty much on the verge of falling over. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's the best I can do. Overall, he's a really good figure. Uh, he comes with the same level of detail and accessories, um, and accessory detail as the rest of the Gokaiger figure works, and, and, and really any other Sentai figure works do. Um, really a good amount of detail. Um, th and the, the silver really gives a good sheen to his color. Um, they did a really nice job. The spear and the gun, um, have a tremendous amount of detail. The only gripe I have is the ranger key and the fact that, uh, well, part of the ranger key and uh, the fact that we didn't get a closed version of the ranger key and we didn't get keyholes in his gun or his spear in trident mode. Um, that's like an, that's like not much of a nitpick. Um, they could have at least left keyholes in the spear and gun for, we could use other, um, Gokaiger SH Figure Arts Ranger keys. Um, well, that's really here, that's really neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, and he pretty much uses the same mold as every other one of the, um, Gokaiger SH Figure Arts because he has a lot, he has lines right there more movement on his upper arms between his shoulders and his upper arms, um, which gives it a lot more range of movement. So, yeah, so, um, I give this figure a 10 out of 10, like all the others. Again, the only two gripes I have aren't much to rank it any lower for me. Um, so yeah, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, go to my channel, go to my second channel, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Support me on Patreon if you want, uh, so I can give you guys more awesome SH Figure Arts reviews, um, with more frequency. Um, link is down in the description. If you give me at least a dollar, you might get a producer credit on future videos. So yeah, thank you if you do, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys more later.